This is a review of the Anchor Power Core Plus. It's a mini charger that has a capacity of 3,350 milliampere hours and it's also very nicely designed. It's an aluminum exterior case. It's so rugged you could probably drive over it in your car and you wouldn't hurt it. It's small. It's designed to fit into a woman's purse, for example. This one happens to be pink in color. Here you can see it next to an American dime and you can see how small it is in diameter. It only weighs in at 2.86 ounces even though it has this aluminum body. Inside the box you'll find a brief instruction manual that's in multiple languages, a nice carrying case that it will fit into to keep it from getting scratched up. The other important function of the carrying case is that when you put it in there and it's in your purse for example you keep items like keys from getting stuck into the front of it. You'll also find a charging cable that comes with it that's 27 and 1 half inches long. Here on the end you can see the USB port. It's an IQ port so it would charge your device with anywhere between 0 and 1 amp depending on what it wants to draw and this will adjust to meet that requirement. Here you can see a LED push button on the end that you can press to start the charging process. It also lights up and you can tell the charge status of the battery. Here you can see it's glowing green and that means that it's fully charged. And down below here is the input charging. It wants to uh, be charged at 5 volts DC at 1 amp and its output is limited to 5 volts DC at 1 amp. The unit comes with an 18 month warranty and as I said it's very attractive, very nicely designed. We've done extensive testing with this. We've taken it and charged a couple of iPhone 5S's. They were both pretty much depleted. The first one we started at 18 percent and we charged the uh, iPhone up to 100 percent. We took a second iPhone 5S and it was at 50 percent and we charged it uh, up to 94 percent and that means out of this little battery here we got 1,965.4 milliampere hours of capacity and this battery itself is a 3,350 milliamp hour battery. That's about a 58.7 percent efficiency. That's not spectacular but it's okay. I've tested a lot of batteries of this size before and to be honest with you they all don't perform as well as the big batteries so this just fits in the uh, average run-of-the-mill uh, capacity. But that is enough to charge your iPhone 5S 126 percent. So if your phone's dead you can charge it back up and in case of an emergency you can still add some more power to it. You might ask yourself if this thing's only 58.6 percent, 0.7 percent uh, efficient why should I buy it? The main reason is it's highly portable. Like I said look at the size of this it's about the size of one of my fingers. Easily fits into your purse, throw it into a backpack, throw it into a briefcase and you've got emergency power wherever you go. You're buying this for the portability and the functionality. Here you can see I have an iPhone 5S plugged into the battery. I have here a voltage and current meter just to show you the voltage and current that's going to be used by the phone. I'm going to stand this up and see this little dot here on the end. I'm going to press that with a fingernail it turns on. You heard the phone beep and the phone is charging at 0.98 amps which is very nice. That's what it likes to have and it's charging at 5.19 volts. As I mentioned this small battery will charge this phone 126 percent of its capacity. Now I'm going to try something a bit harder. I'm going to plug in an iPad Air 2. Much larger battery and you can see it immediately started charging it's charging at 5.19 uh, volts. I'm going to flip this up and you can see it's charging at 0.94 amps. Normally when you plug things into a Apple iPad and it doesn't have uh, one and a half or two amps you'll get a message that pops up and says your charging device may be incompatible with this tablet. In this case it's working fine. I do want to point out though that this battery 
only has a capacity of around 2,000 milliampere hours to charge anything. I point that out because this iPad Air 2 has an internal battery that has a capacity of 7,340 milliampere hours, and as a result, you're going to give it a little boost, but you're not going to recharge it. This battery has its limitations. It's ideal for smartphones, though. This is a good product. Like I said, even though its capacity was a little bit limited, its ideal use is portability for a quick charge on a smartphone. For that reason alone, it's worth four stars. I can't rate it any higher because this battery is touted to be 90% efficient. It's not even close. It only came out at 58% efficient. At 90%, it should have been able to produce 3,015 milliampere hours and I was only able to get 1,965. It's still a good product. I love the size, but I can't give it five stars for that reason. This review is done by JJ CEO. I'd like to tell you that I received a sample for test and evaluation, and I didn't promise a review, but I promised if I gave one it would be fair and honest.